Hey, Peasant here with a video a little bit out of what I usually do, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, uh, recently I had to make a bunch of labels and I was not interested in having to do each label individually and then copy it out in the cells by using alt copy or whatever. Uh, so I looked into a better way to do it and what I found was a way to do it using um, the transform tool. So here I have, uh, you see we have like a sample logo, some sample information, a barcode, etc. Um, and uh, I have them all grouped together to make it a little bit easier to manipulate the objects. Uh, so that way I don't have to like select them all when I'm doing the transformations. Uh, grouping is pretty easy to do. Um, and so what we need to do is we're using distort and transform. And um, what you can do is when you figure out the exact distance that you need to have the object carry over into the next label slot, uh, you can just have it make two copies horizontally and then nine copies down for a 30 label sheet. Um, but here I'll show you a little bit what I mean. So say we're, I'm just guessing 2.75, that's pretty close. It's not quite exactly what we want it to be, but it gives you an idea. Then you have that populate over to the right and then populate downward. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how, how much distance we need to have these guys going. So what we'll do is we can use, uh, we'll use this text here as, a, as a, an idea of, as a reference. So we're going to try and give the same, we're going to cover up the same amount of white space that is behind it in this cell. So we'll give it a shot here, I'll say uh, 2 point, we'll, we'll go with the 2.75 inches. Uh, and then we're going to make another box here from the start of that box right here to the edge. And then we're going to bring that box over here and again on the edge we see that uh, they're not quite the same that one's a little bit further out so if you hold down shift while dragging you can have it lock into place and so our width here is 2.756 inches all right so that's our width uh, we can get rid of these boxes now. Oops, no, I'll delete that. Um, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing here with the barcode. We're going to try and cover up that same amount of white space here at the top. There wasn't too much here. We'll go with uh, we'll go with one inch to start. Um, then we're going to do the same thing. One little box, drag it up there. Then we're going to bring it down, lock it up against the lion. Now if we zoom in, they're really close, but they're not quite the same. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll hold down shift and drag till it locks in place. And then here we have a height of 1.0017 inches. All right, so we have our width and our height. Um, and all we have to do now is use that tool I mentioned earlier. We have them grouped already, distort and transform, um, and then use the transform tool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to do this in a way where you can just save it as a graphic style so it's a lot faster to do repeatedly. So if you click on the graphic styles window, uh, you'll see I actually went through it once already, but we're going to do it again for you guys. So we have this selected here. Uh, you go to um, FX, go to distort and transform, transform. We're making two copies horizontally. So that again, that was 2.756 inches. Uh, preview looks great. Okay. And then we're going to apply another transformation. This time we're going to do it vertically. Vertically, it's going to be 1.0017 inches. And it's important that you include the decimals. Don't round it too much because the more you round it, the more it's going to skew slightly every time it's a uh, the transformations apply again. So we do that preview, looks great, okay. Awesome, so we have a sheet full of labels and you don't have to do them one by one. Um, so we'll uh, go ahead and this is, uh, now we can save this as a graphic style. So if you click here and then drag it into the graphic styles window, now you have this here and we'll save it as uh, transform horizontally plus vertically. And then what you want to do is save that graphic style as something specific. So I don't know, we'll just save it here as demo file. Um, so if you ever do need to call it up, you can actually go to user find and then open it up and you have it here. Um, 
So yeah, so uh, one last thing is that I saved, I have these on two separate layers. So I have the, the like the outlines, you can tell by the red when I mouse over it, is on layer two. So you just hide that layer. Then you can go ahead and save this as a PDF. And you're left with a beautiful set of labels. So if you do ever need to change it, or if you're doing them en masse, you can just go ahead, open up your initial uh, like template file, just swap out whatever details. Um, and what I what I was doing at the end when I was making them a bunch at a time is you can just undo your transformations there, change out if you need to change out the picture or the information, then just use your graphic style to reapply it again, and you're good to go. Yeah, so that's all for now. Hope that helps, and you guys can ask any questions if there's something else you need to know. Uh, I have more articles on different tech-related stuff on my website, www.pesson.ca, as well as videos here on uh, Dota 2 and other games, and articles on Dota 2 and other games on my site. So, not sure if those interests will align, but if they do, feel free to check it out. All right, have a great day.